Welcome to the After Codex tutorial. After Codex is a new native exporter for After Effects. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use After Codex. Once the plugin is installed, you have to render some video in order to be able to launch After Codex. Just go to Composition in the top menu, click Add to Render Queue, open the Output Module dialog, and in the Format dropdown, select After Codex. Then you just have to click Format Options to open up the After Codex window. In this window, you have three tabs, which change what there is in the middle of the window. So there's also a text area here, where there are explanations about the option you are currently changing. The first tab, Encoding, contains all the current render options. We'll talk about it later. But first, go to the second tab called Settings. It contains all the global After Codex options. These settings are always the same during all your renders. The first thing you need to do is install FFmpeg. FFmpeg is a software that will be used to encode video and audio. You can just click the download slash update button and wait for the download to finish. For more information about FFmpeg installation, please read the PDF given in the plugin archive that you downloaded. You, you should now have a green text in the explanation area saying that you have FFmpeg installed with its version number. The write log checkbox here is for power users that want to know what happened during the encoding. It's automatically enabled if there is an error during the encoding. Then you have the license input, where you have to copy-paste your license ID and click this button to activate the plugin. Once all is set up, you can go to the first tab, Encoding, to select your render option. Here is the video codec dropdown. In the first version of After Codex, you have X264 and X265 and ProRes. X264 and X265 are both implementation of H264 and H265 norm. It's perfect for storing your videos and uploading them on the internet faster. If you render in H.264 or H.265, you have more options. The first one is of course video quality. My advice is to choose be something between 50 and 80 to keep good quality. 100 is lossless, 70 is excellent quality. If you're uploading your video to a streaming platform that will re your video, choose something around 80. The other options is about whether you want your video to be streamable. If you're uploading this video on your own website only, don't select this option if you're uploading to streaming platform like YouTube, because they will re-encode your video anyway. Please bear in mind that this option takes quite a time because it has to make a second pass around the video in order to put the imported data about your video at the beginning of the file. Use this option only when you really need it. You can also export these five ProRes variants, Proxy, LT, Normal, HQ444. If you want to render your video with an, an alpha channel, please select the last one, ProRes444. If your composition is in high depth, in 16-bit or in 32-bit, don't forget to select Trions of Colors in the Depth drop-down. Otherwise, some data will be lost during encoding. And of course, if you want to render the alpha channel, you have to select RGBA. Once you configure your render and the audio, just click Render. It's at that moment that you can have an error message, for example, if you try to render video with an odd resolution. Once the render is done, you can now play the, the video and check the encoding log if you wish, or if there was an encoding error. If you don't understand the log file, you can send us this file. If you have errors, questions, or special needs, please fill it a ticket on the iOScript.com website. Thank you for purchasing After Codex and have great renders.